learners, I am Teacher Will and welcome to our general mathematics subject. For today's video lesson, we will learn to solve real-life problems involving action. Let's start! Yeah, so, bago tayo mag-proceed sa discussion natin, tignan muna natin kung um, itong mga statement ba nito ay agree kayo na kaya niyong gawin ang um, hindi. Yeah. First, I can carefully read and analyze the given problem. Second, I can look your need to give them in the box required in a problem. Number three, I can represent real-life situation using function, including this voice function. Number four, I can perform operations on function. And number five, I can evaluate function. So, if you agree with all this statement, that means you are very much ready for this module. These are um, the application of what we learned from the three previous statements. Okay. okay. Let's read and analyze this problem. Miguel is a senior high school student who commutes from school to school, which is 15 kilometers apart. There are two modes of transportation. The first one is through jeep, and the other one is through tricycle. In writing a jeepney, the fare charge 9 pesos for the first 4 kilometers and 75 cents for each additional kilometer. Meanwhile, in riding a tricycle, the fare would be 10 pesos for the first kilometer travel and 1 peso for each additional kilometer. Will you help me go analyze this situation? Okay, so as you can see, decision making is always in part of our lives from the moment we wake up until we sleep. It might be a minor or major decision. And in this problem, let's help Miguel decide whether to ride in tricycle or ride in Japan. Let's try to answer these questions and help our Miguel decide. If you are Miguel and decided to ride in Japan, how much will be your fare? Yes. Sabi natin kanina ang um, distance between home and the school of Miguel is 50 kilometers. At ang fare sa jeepney is 9 pesos for the first 4 kilometers and beyond that, mag-a-add ka ng 0.7 pesos. Ha? So, kailangan lang natin ipakita, mag-i-represent yan using function para mas madali natin ang um, matag. Okay? Let's use a function to represent your fare ng jeepney after 4 kilometers. Okay? After 4 kilometers. So, let's say um, we have F of D. Fare. Let's say yung F is the fare and D is the distance um, traveled after 4 kilometers. Okay? So, sabi po ay magbabayad daw tayo ng 9 pesos. Plus, ay 9 pesos po na yan is the 4 kilometers kaya hindi na natin siya inubot. Yung D lang po natin is yung after 4 kilometers. Yeah. Which is 0.75 Yeah. So, ang 15 kilometers po, ang excess na yan ng po Ang excess niya after 4 kilometers is 11 kilometers. We evaluate our uh, given function at um, 11 kilometers. Yeah, so substitute ng po 9 plus um, 0.75 times 11. That will give us 9 plus 8 and 25 cents. That is a total of 17 pesos and 25 cents. Yeah. So yan yung total pair natin if uh, mag-ride siya ng journey. On the other hand, if you decided to ride in a tricycle, how much was your fare? So, sabi natin kanina, ang fare po sa tricycle is um, 10 pesos sa first kilometer. Then, after first kilometer, um, magdag, magbabayad ka ng piso per kilometer. Yeah. So, let's represent um, that situation using function. So, let's say uh, fare ulit, fare. Where in yung D natin is the distance traveled to your first kilometer. Kasi ang first kilometer natin, ang bayad na po dyan ay 10. Then, hahanapin natin kung magkano yung dagdag sa 10, yung i-add natin sa 10, 
after the first kilang effect. Yeah, so that will be 1 peso. Uh, sabihin natin D plus D. And again, yung D po natin is the traveled after first kilometer. So, since 15 kilometers yon at yung first kilometer is um, 10 pesos, ima-minus na natin siya. So, 14 kilometer na lang yung ia-add natin um, sa 10 pesos. Now, ma-charge ng 1 peso per kilometer. So, i-add natin. So, that would be 10 plus, ang distance traveled pa is 14 kilometer. 10 plus 14, that is 24. Yeah, 24 pesos ang fare niya sa tricycle. Kung magsasakay siya ng tricycle. Ayan. 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 So, kapag i-compare po natin yung fare ng jeepney sa tricycle, syempre mas mura yung ating jeepney. Ayan. Mas mura siya ang 17 pesos and 25 cents lang while yung tricycle ay 24 pesos. Mas mahal siya. Kaya kung si Miguel ay pinili niyang magsumakay na lang ng jeepney, so, tingin niyo, anong characteristics does ang Miguel possess? So, siguro, uh, matipit siya. Uh, mas iigi kanya na, mas maigi para sa kanya na isave yung around uh, 7 pesos niya uh, instead of riding a tricycle. You know? Pero ano ba yung mga advantages ba ng pagsasakay ng jeepney instead of tricycle? Maliban dun sa fare or riding tricycle instead of jeepney. And what would it be? Sa tricycle instead of jeepney, siguro maliban uh, doon mahal siya, minsan tinitili natin siya kasi nga, uh, isang factor na uh, kinoconsider natin ay mas convenient. Like, ayun nga, if marami kang bit-bit, kanyan, pwede yan i-diretso hanggang doon sa gate o hanggang sa bahay ninyo. Maaari din, um, hindi crowded. Siyempre, ikaw lang makasakay. Unlike si Jitney kasi um, madami kayo. Madami kayo. And in this time of pandemic, siyempre, mas um, sing talaga na tricycle since um, solo ka lang and you are not um, exposed with the other people na ano din, na commuters. Yun. And if um, siyempre, kung sa pera din, Uh, pagtitipid din, mas makakatipid ka talaga. Araw-araw um, yan, sasakay ka, mas makakatipid ka talaga sa GP. And, if you are Miguel, which between the two modes of rotation will be choose and why? Yan, para sa akin, mag-chip na lang ako. Uh, aagahan ko na lang siguro. Aagahan ko na lang busy para hindi ako mali. Uh, since, minsan kasi sa mga sa mga jeep ni eh, uh, hindi ko stop pa yan para po ng eh, mga um, kumitsan, may bababa um, sasakay, which is um, nag, mapatagal pa sa time na dapat makarating ka na sa school. Yun. And, yun, aagahan ko na lang. Uh, Siyempre, mas uh, matipit ako na yan. Gusto kong sasahin na ako ng GP. As you can see, nag-try natin na gamitin yung function to solve the situation ni Miguel. Which is um, relatable naman sa buhay natin. Na may mga ganyan cases din tayo na um, decisions of the world. And so let's have more um, examples, real life examples na try natin isolve using a using functions. Okay, so before that, yeah, so bago tayo mag-proceed, um, review muna natin yung mga steps ang um, ginagawa natin kapag nasusuwa tayo ng problem. I know um, madami sa atin na may sariling way kung paano tayo mag-solve ng mga problems, um, specifically math problems. But um, you can also try itong steps of working by George Ford. Yeah. So una is to explore. These steps involve carefully reading, analyzing, identifying the given and unknown facts in the problem, then expressing the unknown in terms of variable. Yeah. So, explore muna natin lahat ng nasa problem. Then, one, in this step, writing an equation that describes the relationship between or among the variables is involved. Yeah. So, create na tayo ng ating equation or in this um, case, ating module function. 
Then number three, so yeah. So for natin, this step requires working out with the identification and other number relations to determine the required quantities that answer the questions in the problem. Ayan. So madalas we evaluate or ano pa bang way to solve we uh, perform an operation. And depend this a problem. Then next is to check. The final step, um, sometimes eh, hindi lahat ito ginag, hindi lahat sa inyong ginagawa ito na i-check pa ang tama yung nag-isagot. Madalas ang gagawin nyo na lang dyan is to wait for the teacher to give a feedback kung saan ka nagkakali, kung, um, kung tama o mali pa yung nag-isagot ninyo. And sa case ninyo, sa pag-module, ng July learning, you can check it uh, sa likod o sa answer. But, um, ayun. Without looking the answer key, you can check yourself if tama ba yung naging um, solution nyo. Or tama ba yung naging sagot mo na yung result sa inyong solving. Okay, yeah. So, the final step that employ the use of other approaches to examine the appropriateness of the answer. Okay. Sige, try natin um, i-apply itong mga um, steps na to sa pag-solve ng mga real-life problems in coding function. Okay, let's have some examples. Let's have that sample number one. A proposed light rail transit system line one or LRT one pair with charge 18 pesos for the first four stations and 5 pesos for each additional station over the proposed pair. Number A, let's find the pair function where X represents the number of stations travel. So our goal in this problem is first um, find the function f of x. Ayan. So, ano po ba yung mga given natin? Sabi dito, 18 pesos for the first four station and 5 pesos for each addition. So, mag-add pa na po yun. Yung f of x natin would be um, 18 pesos para dun sa first four station plus 5 pesos per each additional station. Ayan. So, ngayon, paano natin i-represent -re itong additional station? So, let's say, um, since x represents the number of station travel, so, kailangan natin i-minus yung um, four station dun sa lahat, no? sa number of station na nagtatawag. Kasi yung four station, nandito na siya sa 18 pesos. So, yan yung ating um, function. Function f of x. Yeah. Letter B, let's find the proposed pair with 15 station. Kapag 15 station daw, magkano yung pair niya. So, try natin ang uh, f of 15, let's have a break. Pag 15 station, that would be 5 plus 15 minus uh, 4. Yeah, sige. Solve natin. Ang hindi na kalakita sa screen. So, yes, nandun yun na. So, dito na naman. Let us do that. 18 pesos. Okay. Yung... Kompetin muna natin kung ilang station yung additional after 4 stations. So, 15 minus 4, that will give us 11 stations. So, 11 stations times 5 pesos, that will give us 55. 55 pesos. Then, plus natin sa 18, ang total na fare niya is, yan, 3, um, 73. Tama? 73. So, 73 pesos sa um, 15 station. Paano naman kapag 20 station? Yeah, 73 pesos. Yeah. Pag 20 station naman, we have yeah, 18 plus 5 times um, 20 minus 4. So, 18 pesos plus um, 20 minus 4, that is 16 station. Multiply to 5 pesos, we have 80 pesos. Yeah. So, 18 plus 80 pesos, that is 98 pesos. So, yung 20 station, ang babayaran niya is 98 pesos. Yan ba? So, ito na lang siya. Let's proceed to example number 2. So, for example number 2, the Sena Network charges 450 pesos monthly, cable connection fee plus 130 pesos for each hour of pay-per-view pay event regardless of a full hour or a fraction of an hour. 
let's find the payment function f of x where x represents the number of paper per hours. Number B is what will be the monthly bill of the customer who watched 24 hours of a pay-per-view event. And then number C, what will be the monthly bill of a customer who watched 0.5 hours of pay-per-view event. Yeah. So, una, let's find the payment function first. Mm -hmm. F of x, then natin so that we have f of x is equal to 450 ang monthly bill pag walang pag walang papanoorin. Pero, kung may papanoorin po siya, that will be additional of 130 times x. Yung x na yan, yung number of pay-per-view um, event na pinanood niya. Dito na lang natin isulat pala. So, f of x Okay. f of x is equal to 4 times f of x plus 130. Yeah. So, sa letter B, question, um, question is, magkano yung mag-ibig niya mag-25 hours? So, syempre, madali lang yun. f of 25 lang. That will give us 450 plus 130 times 25. Ayan. So, multiply natin. 25 hours, 25 times 130. Ayan. So, 3,000. 3,450 additional sa bill niya. Kaya ang total na babayanan niya ay ang total na that is 37. 37 yung total na bill niya dito sa letter C. Yeah. So, sa letter C naman, ang bill, ang pinanood ng uh, customer is 0.5 hour. But sabi na dito sa ating um, problem, regardless na fraction of an hour yan, it will be still charge in 130 as us for per hour per hour pa rin. Yan. So, syempre, itong 0.5 hours is um, 1 hour na po. Yan, 1 hour na po yan. Yung babayaran niya. Yan. Kung so, din lang, F of 1 lang, that will give us 450 plus 130 times 1 and 130 times 1 that is still 130. So, 450 plus 130 that is 500 80. So, 580 pesos yung babayaran naman sa ating um, letter C na customer. Okay? So, ganun lang. Mag-solve ng mga real-life problems involving function. You apply yung ating um, first na discussion about on how we represent. Kasi kung hindi nyo alam i-represent yan, um, hindi po hindi natin masosolve yung problem. May hirapan tayong masolve. At yun din, dapat master ninyo yung hug evaluate ng function para mas madali po ninyo masolve yung problem. Use me, first the function. Like kung yung sagutin itong mga problem na to, there will be um, yan, yung mga guide questions na po kung paano yung masosolve yan. Okay? And then, yan. Sa so, kahit to. Itong hito. Uh, I think yun lang naman. Yun lang. So, dalawa lang yun. Do it on your activity notebook or activity notebook. Okay? Alright. So, that will be all for the discussion for today. See you sa ating next video. Bye!